right. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. Welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Welcome. This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves, and I'm the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines, also Christian Arthur. Come on in. Well, you guys, I said that I was going to be on Periscope today for the people that subscribe to my mailing list on my website, and my schedule has been so busy, so I haven't really had a chance to really come on, but I'm not going to be on here long because I have to do a call tonight. So, I just want to give you a few announcements, and then we're going to talk. I miss you too. I miss you too. Yes, I miss you guys too. Greetings. Greetings, everyone. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about Yom Kippur, the, the Day of Atonement, and we're going to pray a little bit, you know, and then, you know, I'm going to get off of here because, you know, in 45 minutes, I'm getting ready to be on a call and I want to invite you guys, okay? All right, so let me give this. All right. So if you're not to, if you're not already planning to attend the prophetic uh, prayer watch, it's going to be at my church, Grace Be Unto You in Colorado Springs. Please come out. Please come out. It's going to be a move of God. You know, we need to get together. We need to pray in, in the body of Christ more. All right. So if you plan on attending, <clears throat> go to my website and register for this event. The next thing I want to show you guys is, um, all right, it's called the Empowering the New Me Women's Conference. Please go and invite, um, you know, invite your friends and come out. This is going to be life changing. You hear me? I'm going to launch my brand new book, Empowering the New Me, 50 Tips Be to Becoming a Godly Woman. Holy Spirit has given me this revelation to help a lot of women out. Amen. So, you know, it's going to come with lunch, a great lunch, uh, my brand new book, a t-shirt and lots of workshops. Um, yes, it's awesome. So you can register on my website to both conferences. It's going to be February the 25th. I want to see you guys there. All right. I'm going to start doing some girl talks on here as well to help the women out in the body of Christ. You know, so we're going to get deep. We're going to talk about it. Okay. So I want to empower the women of God. Amen. To be all that God has called you to be. A lot of women, you're just help and you, you just you just need help and you're in transition and you just feel stuck and i want to give you a big spiritual push all right and the next thing i want to show you guys before we get into this teaching okay i will be praying and prophesying to everyone that calls in this line you know i'll give myself about three hours okay and if i don't get to you that day you know i'm going to make uh, accommodations to get to you guys and you know i will the people some people know that i will call them the next day or send them out another uh, an email or something thus said the lord so listen write the number down 605-562-3140 code 673-436 it's going to be saturday 8 a.m eastern standard time set your alarm if you need healing, you need deliverance, you need a prophetic word of, of your life, you can connect and I will seek God on your behalf and get what you need. All right. The next thing uh, I'm going to show you guys is tonight. I'm going to be on this call in about 20 minutes. Not 20, but yeah, about 40 minutes. The school of the prophet students, they're going to be giving a word tonight and praying for whoever calls in. So it's the same access code and a number. Call in. So yeah, I'm excited about what God is doing. All right. So if you want me to help mentor you, if you want to take my school of the prophets, you know, sign up. I'm taking my next set of students. Classes start December 1st, all right? You will be challenged, you will be stretched, and you will start flowing. A lot of people, you have, you know, a gift of prophecy, but you don't know how to flow with the Holy Spirit, you know, like that. You're, you're scared, you're hesitant. I want to break that off for you, and I'm, I'm going to push you forward. The, the number is 605-562-3140, code 673436. So let's get into it because I don't have a lot of time. All right, so today is Yom Kippur. You know, it ends in a couple of hours. It ends at sunset. You know, I live in Colorado, so it's still daylight out time for me. You know, I'm two hours behind East Coast time. All right, so Yom Kippur started last night. It started last night around, um, you know, sunset. And it ends tonight at sunset. So I wasn't really going to get on here, but I was like, well, you know what, God, I'm going to get on here and just pray. So if you if you have been fasting, you know, if maybe spirit-led, this because your body is in sync with God is doing in the realm of the spirit. And today, you know, is Yom Kippur, or, uh, yep, she's in Oakland, California. See, it's still daylight. So, you know, you can still get in on this, amen? So I, I told people that subscribe to my mailing list, we're going to fast from the 11th, 7 p.m. to the 12th to 7 p.m. So you can break your fast at 7 p.m. if you have been fasting before the Lord at when, when Yom Kippur ends. So Yom Kippur is one of the Jewish feasts that we talked about last week. We talked about Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Um, um, 
So today we're going to talk about Yom Kippur, and that means the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement. And it's, it's important, people of God, to be on God's yep, soul time. That's right, sow your seed. If you haven't sold your seed, sow your seed. And people are like, oh, you know, they always want money. No, it's, it says so in, in the Word. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's Old Testament. Well, still, it is important, people of God, to be on God's timetable. And there's always an open portal, open blessings associated with this time. So I just want everything that God has for me. I don't know about you, but I want everything that God has for me. So I don't mind pushing back the plate, you know, and seeking the face of God, amen, to tap in, you know, I, I, I want that blessing, whatever God's releasing, I want it, amen, so people probably don't believe in that, but that's, that's fine, but if for the people that do, and they want more of God, or they, they want to tap in, hey, go for it, amen, go for it, all right, so you're probably asking me, where's this at in the Bible, where, where, where's this at, somebody write this down, Leviticus 23, Leviticus 23, um, verses 26 through 27 all right leviticus 23 verses 26 through 27 and it says the lord spoke to moses saying on the 10th day of the seventh month and we talked about the seventh month the month of tesiri you know is the day of atonement so you know um pretty much is around the same time all right the day of atonement a holy day this is a holy day holy day you know it's a holy convocation and it says we're supposed to humble our souls how do you humble your souls with fasting right? Humble your souls and present an offering, you know, by fire to the Lord. All right. So this is the day of atonement scripturally in, in the word of God. All right. So, um, on this day, this is a day of repenting. This is a day where, um, back in the biblical days, you know, the Lord will come and visit his people. You know, like now in the, the, the New Testament, we have the Holy Spirit within us. But in those days, they didn't have the Holy Spirit living within them. So the people would gather together and just go to like the temple and stuff like that. Okay? So um, this is the day where we, we repent before God. And the, the word atonement means to, to reconcile, to, 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 you know, to reconcile back unto God. So if you have any sins in your heart, you know, we're supposed to repent every day. We're supposed to do a daily heart check. But on this day, this is a special day of repenting. And so we're, we're going to do a lot of repenting today as we go forth and, and, and pray. Amen. You know, a lot of people might drop off the scope. But don't, I don't care about numbers and followers. You know, I just want God. I want to, you know, just get everything off, you know, my chest or whatever. And same with you. And we're going to... Um, you know, I'm going to stand in proxy for you guys and just touch and agree. All right. So remember, Jesus Christ is all about Jesus Christ. He is our atonement of our sins. He was, you know, our, the blood sacrifice, the, the sacrificial lamb. Because before Jesus Christ came, you know, the, the, the people used to bring like rams and sheep unto the priests, um, you know, to sacrifice unto God for their sins. But since we have a Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, who paid the price, was crucified for our sins. Amen. We don't have to, you know, bring a, a, a ram offering unto God. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? All right. So that that's what atonement means. All right. It's a day of just getting the sins out, repenting before God. All right. And just getting right. And we should do it every day, people of God. We should do it every day. So I don't have a lot of time on here. You know, I want to pray um, for you guys. I'm just going to get right before the Lord. I feel the fire of God. I feel a strong anointing even right now all around me. So it's great to pray in the anointing of God. But one more thing before I start praying, I'll probably come back tonight or definitely tomorrow night and we're going to do warfare. It's time to war. A lot of people right now, you're in transition. It seems like the enemy is bothering you. We're going to cast the devil out. Amen. And you're going to get a breakthrough. So every time I do warfare, miracles happen. Miracles, miracles, miracles happen. So if you're not following me, if you're not connected, I challenge you to hit the follow button. You feel it. I feel a move of God too. So I'm excited. But I don't have a lot of time because I got to get ready to get on this call tonight and help launch somebody else in their destiny. Amen. And help push them forward. All right. So let's get into this. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we lift you up, God. God, we give you praise, God. God, we magnify you, God, for what you're doing, Lord God, in each and every one of our lives, God. God, we come before you, God, broken, humbled as we know how, God, as we sacrifice, God, with fasting and humbling our souls, God, before you, Lord God. Lord God, we, we just repent, God, for just doing things, Lord God, 
that are not in your will for us, Lord God. We repent, God, for being uh, lukewarm, God. We repent, God, for being cold, Lord God. We repent, God, for putting people and things, God, in front of you, Lord God. We repent, God, for not reading our Bible as much, for not fasting when you told us to fast, God, for, for not paying our tithes and offering, Lord God. We repent, God. God, we need you, Lord God, today, God, as never before, God. We repent, God, for fornicating. We repent for uh, adultery. We repent, God, for lying. We repent for, for stealing, Lord God. We just repent, God. Anything that you need to repent of, just put it up here. We're going to touch and agree. We repent for disobedience. We repent for being in doubt and fear and disbelief, God, and not believing your prophetic words when you have spoken it to us, Lord God. God, we repent, Lord God. For slandering and bite batting and gossiping, God. God, we're sorry, God. Lord God, we repent for just being in fear, God. We know that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, God. We forget, we, we for, repent, God, for having unforgiveness and not trusting you fully, God. God, we repent, Lord God. Hallelujah for being double-minded, God. God, forgive us, God. God, have mercy upon us, Lord God. God, we repent, Lord God, for being angry, God. For 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 starting fights and 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 and, and just hurting people in the name of Jesus, God. God, we we pray right now, yeah, for being mean and for having attitudes and and, and not showing you glory, God. Lord God, Lord, I pray right now, Lord God. We we just repent. For being used as a vessel of the enemy, God. Lord, we just repent, God, for, for using our mouth, God, to tear others down, God. God, we repent, God, for looking at things we had no business looking at, God, and for listening to things, God, that we shouldn't have been listening to, God. We're sorry, God. God, I pray that you get the glory, God, out of our lives in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we repent for being religious. We repent for being judgmental, God. God, we, for, we repent, God. For, for um, being around people and being in environments, God, that grieves the Holy Spirit. God, we repent, God. God, we repent for, for not putting you first daily, for waking up in the morning and, and, and getting on our cell phones when we should be in our face in the first thing, God. We're sorry, God. Lord, God, have mercy upon us, God. We want to change, God. God, we want to go higher, God, in you, God. God, we, we need you, Lord God. God, more of you, God, and, and God, less of us, Lord God. God, we cannot afford, God, to, to compromise anymore, Lord God. Lord God, this is some of our some of our last chance, God, to get it right. God, you have sent warning after warning after warning after warning. God, you have sent other prophets. You have sent other ministers, Lord God. God, I pray that we will listen and heed what you're trying to tell us, God. God, we cannot afford, God, to, to be in disobedience or rebellion, God. We repent of that, God. God, we repent of, of not uh, stepping out in faith and doing things that you have told us to do because we are worried about lack of resources, Lord God, and we just repent, God. We want you, God. We want more of you, God. God, we're sorry, God. Lord God, we repent, Lord God, when you told us to stop and bless the homeless and we just kept on going and act like we didn't hear you. God, we, we, we repent, God. We repent for being carnal, too carnal-minded sometimes, or too worldly, God, and trying to blend in with the world, God, and, and not being, uh, 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 you know, going after the things of the Spirit, God. We repent. Lord God, we repent, Lord God, for not walking in love, God. Lord, we repent for that, Father. God, God, we need you, Jesus, with everything we have within us, God. Yeah, we repent for mummering. We repent for, for backbiting. We, we repent for complaining, God. Even though we didn't understand it, God, instead of us trusting you sometimes, God, we just complain, Lord God. And we spoke negative words out of our mouth, God. God, we just repent, God, for that. We're sorry, God. God, we, we repent, God, for, for being lazy and, and not doing... Uh, something with what you have given us, God. We repent for not being good stores over our finances and good stores over uh, the things, God, that you have blessed us with. God, we repent for that, God. God, we repent for anything that we have done, God. Lord, that's, that's grieving to you, Jesus. God, we're sorry for the times we nailed Jesus Christ back on the cross. We are sorry, God. We're sorry, Lord God, for racism. We're sorry for being a vessel of terrorism. We're, we're sorry for treating the holy things unholy, God. God, we repent, Lord God. Lord God, we repent for condemn, uh, condemning people, Lord God. God, we repent for being full of contempt, God. God, we repent, Lord God, and for, for the times when somebody needed prayer, but instead of praying for them, we gossip about them. God, we're sorry, God, for that. 
God, we're sorry for dragging our feet on your word, God. Put, put some stuff up here, people of God. Come on now, let's keep this thing flowing. God, we repent for being prideful. God, we repent for being stubborn, God. God, we repent for everyone we have hurt, God. Lord God, we just make amends today, God. We ask you, God, just forgive us for that. Forgive us for those things, God. God, we, we, we repent, God, for being mad at you at times and, and, and fornicating, Lord God, and, and, and uh, masturbation. We, we repent of that stuff, God, and watching things like pornography. God, we were sorry for that, for being lukewarm, God. God, I pray right now that you get us on fire, God, for you right now. Lord God, we repent for not studying the word. We repent for idolatry, God. Get anything out of our hearts, Lord God, that's that's uh. That's an idol in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, it has to go, God. God, we know that you are a jealous God, and God, you hate idols. Lord God, you said we should have no other gods before you. Lord God, I pray you get those idols out in the name of Jesus, God. God, we repent for giving up on you, God. We repent, God, for going back into the world, for being bitter, God, and, and drinking alcohol, God. We're sorry, God, for that. God, let's, let's, we want to get right with you. God, we repent. And, and I feel the fire of God, he's touching you right now, he's touching bellies right now, and it's a strong deliverance anointing, it's a strong deliverance anointing, and I need you to, to lay hands on your belly, hallelujah, for deliverance to hit your life, God is all knowing, and he knows what you need to get delivered and set free from, so Lord God, send forth the fire of God, and send forth a deliverance anointing right now, to hit the people of God's life right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I command fear to come out in Jesus' name, all pain and emotional pain and holding on to the past and being judgmental. Come out right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, send forth winds of refreshing and heal your people right now. Everywhere, God, they hurt. Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone, Lord God. We don't forget the, the, the atonement. Lord God, that, that Jesus Christ was a sacrificial lamb, God. We lift up Jesus. We love Jesus. Lord God, more of you and, and less of us, Lord God. Lord God, we repent. For not teaching our children the right and your ways, God, your right ways, Lord God. Lord, let, let's, let us be great parents, Lord God. Let us be a parent of your word and leading and, and guiding our children up in the way they should go, Lord God. Lord God, we just repent, Lord God, just for being about drama, Lord, being and causing confusion. We, we repent for that, God. I decree and declare that no longer will be used by the devil in Jesus' name, but we will be uh, totally, sur somebody surrender to God. I say, God, I surrender. Put hands up. We're just repenting before God today. Amen. God, our, God knows you need your car note paid. He knows you need your mortgage paid. He knows you need your, uh, your, 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 your needs. He knows what you need. This is a time to, to sacrifice and just surrender it all to God and say, God, I, I, I repent. And God, I give you it, Lord. God, I give you it, Lord. I just want to be in right standing. And once you repent, let me tell you something. Once your heart condemns you not before God, you know, you can have whatsoever things that you ask God for because you walk uprightly and do things that are pleasing in His sight. Amen. So this is the time to surrender and say, God, I'm sorry. God, I apologize, God. God, I, I just, I want you, God. God, I want you more. I want you more than I want that husband. I want you more than I want that wife. I want you more than I want those finances, God. Because, God, if I know if I have you, God, you're going to work everything out, God. You're going to perfect everything that concerns me today, God. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry for divination, rebellion, astrology, serving false gods. We repent of that stuff, God. God, I pray that you have your way in our lives, God. God, we repent for <coughs> blaming you, God, for things, God, that... um. The devil's on her. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. We repent, God, for blaming you, God, for things that that were not even your fault. God, bless us to take responsibility and look in the mirror, God, and, and get right, God, with you. And get it right and grow up and, and accept responsibility. God, we repent for being bad parents. We repent, Lord God, for, for being a, a misrepresentation of what Jesus was all about. Lord God, we repent. God, we, we realize that... We are, we are ambassadors of Christ in this world, Lord God. We repent for not honoring our husbands, for not submitting to our husbands. We repent for not treating our wives, uh, you know, the right way because she is the weaker vessel. God, we just repent for not honoring marriage, for taking things for granted that you have blessed us with. God, so many people have lost their life during the hurricane. So, so many people are without homes and jobs, Lord God. And here we are just complaining about things. God, we're sorry, God. 
God, have your way, God. Deal with us, Lord. This day, God, deal with us. God, we want to get right before your sight, God. God, we, we just get every everything out of our heart, God. God, we know that you don't look at the outward appearance, but you look right at our hearts, God. God, I pray that you create in us a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us, Lord God. God, that's right, God. Ignite the zeal. Lay hands on your belly. You want to feel the fire of God right now. God, ignite the zeal in our hearts, God, for you in the name of Jesus, God. I decree and declare that the fire, God, hit you right now in Jesus' name. And you will be on fire. I prophesy. You're getting ready to be on fire. And when you was lukewarm before, you're getting ready to be hot, fiery, hot for the Lord in Jesus' name. God, I pray right now, Lord God, Lord, that we would be more appreciative of the gifts that you have given us, the people that you place in our lives. We repent, God, for making uh are making it making it uh impossible and difficult for those people that you sent to help us god god prune us god mold us god sanctify us god purify us god god cleanse us up god god so we can be used by you lord god god we want you god god we need you somebody say god i love you god i love you God, I love you. I'm going to go higher, God, in you. I don't care who don't like me. I don't care who persecutes me. I don't care who walks out my life. This is the time to go higher. This is the time to go higher. God is calling you higher. God is saying, why are you being stagnant before me? Have I not been speaking to you? Have I not been, been, been telling you and drawing you nigh to me? But then you want to pull away. He says, some of your hearts are so far from me. Some of your hearts are hard. God, I pray right now, Jesus, that you soften up our hearts, God, towards you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Even our families, God. I decree and declare salvation, Lord God. Lord God and the Lord, my God, Jesus. My God. He, the Lord said, I've been speaking to some of you. I've been giving you a prophetic unction to speak my oracle, to speak my word. But you've been shutting your mouth. But the Lord is challenging today to open up your mouth and begin to obey the things that I place on your heart and your mind to say and to speak. God said, I need you to speak. God said, you can no longer uh, be quiet. When God says, I have given you an assignment, I told you and I sent you forth to speak my word, to speak my gospel. But there you get in uh, around certain people and you're ashamed of me, says God. He says, you are ashamed of me. I'm telling you, God, we repent for, hi for hiding our salvation. God, we repent, God, for being ashamed of you, God. God, we're sorry for that, God. Lord God, no longer will we hide the light. No, God, we are a city on a hill whose light cannot be dim. We are the salt of the world, God. We are the, come on, God. God, I pray we don't lose our saltiness, God. God, bless us not to lose our flavor, God, for you. God, no more, God. God, no more. We're sorry for that, God. God, we're going to be obedient to your word, and we're going to speak when you tell us to speak, and when you tell us not to go to the right or to the left, God, we're going to do, let you lead us and guide us. We're sorry, God, for getting ahead of you. You feel that fire in your stomach is for you in Jesus' name. It is for you in Jesus' name. I rebuke the enemy off the scope in Jesus' name. My God, it is okay. I want to decree in your life. My God, all these trolls on here, you keep on treating God's holy holidays and what's holy as um, defamed. I'm telling you, you're, you're going to repent. You're, I'm telling you, God, I'm trying not to speak this out my mouth. But this is what the Lord says. If you do not uh, treat what's holy, you know, if you, if you don't treat what's holy, holy, then I'm telling you, a curse is going to come upon you. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, this is the wrong scope to be on. This is the wrong scope to be on. God, we're sorry, God. We're sorry, God, for, for uh, bestiality. God, we're sorry, God, for being covetous. Uh, uh, God, we're sorry, God, for that. God, we're, we're sorry, God, for, for being in fear, not being courageous. God, we're sorry. It's okay. The, I'm, I'm telling you, the same anointing that blesses, the same anointing that curse. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Hallelujah. You can say whatever. Hallelujah. But anyways, Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Jesus, you guys said when the enemy comes in one way, you make him flee before us seven ways in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we're sorry, God. God, we're sorry, Lord God, for um, for for bringing things in our house for incest. We're sorry, God, for for doing things. Uh, here, right, get the phone. 
One second. Hallelujah. We're sorry, God, for doing things that's not pleasing in your sight. See what he wants. Hallelujah. Lord God, we're sorry, God, for for uh not paying things that we owe. For saying we're going to pay somebody back and not pay them back. Lord God, we're sorry, God, for for um uh, robbing people and, and just uh fearing man when we should have obeyed you, we shouldn't care what people think. Lord God, Lord, we're sorry, God, for, for, for being in the flesh, Lord God, and manifesting the, 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 the lust of the flesh, God. God, we're sorry for hurting you. We're sorry for the anger, bitterness, and the adultery and the fear and the pride, Lord God, forsaking uh, you know, other people, God, and abandoning our responsibilities and having bad attitudes, God. We're sorry, God, for gambling, God, and, and, and spending money that we know we didn't have, God. God, we're sorry, God, for not walking in our purpose and destinies when we felt the call of God on our lives. And we're sorry, God, for running. God, God, we're sorry, Lord God, for, for not taking up our cross daily and falling after Jesus Christ. We're sorry for thinking wrong things, God, in our minds and believing what the enemy has told us, God. God, we're sorry, God, for that, God. Lord God, Lord, we, we need you, Jesus. Lord God, we're, we're sorry, God, for not doing your will, God. You feel heat in your stomach, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. It's a deliverance anointing here. It's it's so strong, God. God, you're so ever present. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That's why that's why we don't play. We don't treat holy things of God as unholy. You know, people come on here acting crazy. I'm telling you, they're getting ready to have an encounter with God as never before. I'm telling you, Hallelujah. You, you don't play. Um, to God is not someone to play with. Amen. God, we're sorry, Lord God, Lord God, for. For not being 100% committed to you. Lord God. Lord God, we're, we're sorry, God. Lord God, for for uh, her, church hurt. Hurting people in church. And not forgiving the people that have hurt us, God. God, I pray right now that you just write uh, bad memories away from us in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes, God, we're sorry for being more scared to make mistakes than deliver the prophetic word. Lord God, we're sorry, God. Lord God, for... For trusting in riches more than we trust in you, God. God, God, we're sorry, God, for, for you know, being greedy, for overeating. God, we're sorry for making our bodies sick and not taking care of the temple of the Holy Spirit, God. God, we're sorry for using our, our members as instruments of sin. I want to decree and declare that we will use our bodies as instruments of righteousness. In Jesus' name, God. God, we're sorry for hate. Some people on here you hate, and that's not of God. God says, you know, we need to love. Amen? So, God, we're sorry, God, for, for being a homosexual. God, I pray deliverance. I come against perversion in the name of Jesus. Lord God, Lord God, we're sorry, God, for being heartless and ruthless and, and cold and nonchalant and lacking compassion and empathy, God, for the things you care about. God, we're sorry for the times you woke us up at the middle of the night and you receive your prayer clock. Praise God. We're sorry, God, for the times you woke up in the middle of the night and we rolled back over and went to sleep, God. God, we're sorry for being idle when you told us to go for it and we just stayed idle, God. We're sorry, God, for that. God, we're sorry for dressing provocative and, and, and not dressing uh, in a manner that's pleasing in your sight. God, God, we're sorry, God, for, for telling lies. God, we're sorry, Lord God, for for not loving our neighbors and, and looking down on people that's less fortunate. God, we're sorry, God. God, we ask you to, today, God, to, to have mercy. God, we were sorry for walking in the spirit of offense. God, we're sorry for offending people, God. Lord God, we're sorry. Tell Daddy, tell your father what I'm doing. Hallelujah. God, we're sorry for not being patient and being impatient, Lord God. Lord God, we're sorry, Lord God, for being too religious, Lord God, and, and thinking wrong things. Yes, we're, forgive us, God, for not helping those people when it's in our power to do so. God, God, we just give you praise, God. God, we just give you praise, God. God, we're sorry for thinking of ourselves uh, in, in the wrong way when you said we're fearfully and wonderfully made, God. God, we're sorry for that, God. Lord God, we're sorry for having ungodly soul ties in our life. God, and I just pray that those ungodly soul ties will be broken in the name of Jesus. We're sorry, God, for stealing. We're sorry for strife. And Lord God, we're sorry for just being cold 
and, and, and spiritually dead for the things of you, God. God, set us free. And I just feel a strong anointing. God is literally, he's literally touching right now. God is touching your heart. God is doing a purging in your heart. God is doing a cleansing in your, your, your soul right now. Some souls are being purged and cleansed before the Lord right now. God, we give you praise. I'm telling people, God, just forget about what you're going through and focus on God. Forget about what you're going through and, and focus on God. And, and God wants me to tell you today, you know, since you have come before him and you released it and just confess your sins. It's a killing getting ready to take place. Not only physical healing, but also spiritual healing and mental healing. And some people on here, you've been abused mentally. You've been in a mental prison. I decree and declare that that breaks off of you today in Jesus' name. And that your thoughts are going to begin to line up with the word of God. And you're going to be, you're going to be, I want to prophesy and tell you that since your thoughts are going to start lining up with God's word, you're getting ready to receive some manifestations of some things that you believe in God for. And the reason why you haven't got some of those things because of your mindset was the wrong mindset. <clears throat> you had fear in that mind. You had doubt in that mind. You, you, you were double minded in that mind. But tonight we put on you the mind of Christ, the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. We put that on you right now. Right now, we put that upon you right now. That you're going to begin to 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 think God-like thoughts. Whatever is pure, lovely, just, holy. If there's anything excellent, to praise and good report. We're going to think about these things. We're going to meditate on these things. Amen? And and some people, you've been dead. Spiritually dead. You, 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 you felt like you were dying spiritually. Tonight was a night of refreshing for you. Just in a short amount of time. It don't take God all day. Just in a short amount of time, a refreshing has hit your soul. You feel the fire God. Some of you feel the fire God on your belly. You felt that. That's right. You needed that. God, uh, uh, he ordained your steps today. He ordained your steps today. Some people want me to prophesy jobs and husbands and houses. I ain't doing that today. You come here to lift up the name of Jesus. Today, you're getting your zeal back. You're getting your fire back. Elizabeth, you thought, you know, you lost it. You thought you were dying. You thought it was over for you. God said this is your, your another chance for you. I want you to get back in church. I want you to get on fire for me again, says God. And stop worrying about what you did. And stop worrying about the mistakes that you have done. Some people, you're beating yourself up, God. God, forgive us for condemning our own selves. Lord God, forgive us for coming to agreement or condemnation with the enemy. When your word tells us in Romans 8, 1, that there's no condemnation in you. Lord God, and we walk in the spirit. God says, get back up again. I need you to go back to church. He said, I got work for you to do. And this word is for Elizabeth. He says, I got work for you to do. I got work for you to do. I need you to go forward. Get back and go on that praise team. Get back. Hallelujah. And, and just ask when the, the Lord start opening up doors for you at your church and for you to start speaking forth at this church and doing things. Then yeah, because the enemy want to stick his little ugly head in in your life. We come against distractions in the name of Jesus. You come against that. So this is your second chance, woman of God. The Lord has forgiven you. He wants me to tell you today that he has forgiven you. Do not condemn yourself anymore. Do not condemn yourself anymore. Amen. Wipe your eyes. I pray it makes sense. Wipe your eyes and, and, and go forward. And he says, I love you. I love you. He, he loves you so much. He's crazy about you. He loves you. But he wants you to love yourself. God, we repent this day for not loving ourselves. Some people, you, you, you think bad things about yourself. You need to love yourself. Come on now. God loves you. You know, the enemy wants to keep you distracted by what things that's going on in your, your family, your home. He loves you. And even as I pray for you, Elizabeth, I, I feel the, the fire. She feel fire in that belly, woman of God. God is literally, he's anointed that zeal. You're going to go forth and you're going to go ahead and get back on the purpose and, 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 and back on track for purpose and, and destiny. See, the enemy tried to knock you off with some things, you know, but you're going to get back on track. Amen. So I need you follow these instructions. Sunday morning, you need to be at church. You need to be at church. 
And I want you to inbox me. I'm going to hold you accountable. I want you to inbox me. Amen. And I, I don't care what has happened recently. This is your chance. It's another chance. Because the Lord said you repented before me. And he sees your heart. He said he sees your heart. And you carry pain in that heart. But God said if you just give it to me, daughter. Just give it all to me. Go back to church. The Lord's going to use you in that church. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? All right? All right. So I'm praying. Um, God, just let me just pray. I got to get ready to get off of here and get on the, the, the conference call. All right? How you doing, Kelly Rose? Father God, God, we just lift up the name of Jesus today. And God, we thank you, God, for the short time of prayer and repenting and fasting, Lord God. God, we pray that you honor our fasting. God, we come before you, Lord God, humbling ourselves with fasting, God. God, we pray that you get the glory up out of our lives, God. God, I pray you had your protection around us, God, decree and declare that these prayers today fell on good ground, Lord God, and, and the deliverance anointing took place, and God decree and declare over each person's life right now that's listening to me, God, that they're, they're going to be changed. They're going to get on fire for you, God. They're not going to be double-minded, Lord God. They're going to have have increased zeal, God. God, do it refreshing. Do it refreshing. Do it refreshing. Some people right now, you still got burdens. You know, before I get off of here, you got to release the burden. Release it. Release it. Release it. You haven't fully released it. Some people holding on. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. You know, don't beat yourself up. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, God, we repent for that. Release it. Release it. Release it. Cast your care, says the Lord. Cast your cares, release it, release it, release it, let go, let go. And even as I said that, I, I feel the fire of God, you're going to feel fire on your chest for someone. You, and it's going to feel so, so good. Because, you know, you're literally making yourself sick by holding on things that, you know, that are out of your control. Why are you worrying about some things over? Amen? <coughs> this thing is freezing. So I'm getting ready to get off of here. Amen? But remember, uh, this thing is freezing. But remember, um, I'm about to get on a call, 605-562-3140, access code 673-436. Um, it starts, school, school of the Prophets are ministering tonight, you know, starts in like eight minutes, all right? If you want to be a blessing, you can go to my website and sow a seed, sow a faith seed into this anointing, amen? I'm telling you, I'm going to come back on maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow night, and we're going to do warfare, we're going to do spiritual warfare. All right? This thing is freezing so bad. But before I get off of here, let me show you some things. Don't forget, don't forget, people of God, to uh, to register for this conference. Don't forget to register for the conference. Um, 